so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well this is your very own mass code at this side and today i will be solving yet another problem of potd that is diagonal sum in binary tree so let's see what does the problem say to us so the problem says that we have been given us we given a binary tree as input right binary tree as input right and the photo here depicts how this binary tree has been split up into diagonals how this binary tree has been split up into diagonals right okay so this is an exact depiction maybe something unclear than the photo so i will tell you from the photo what i will be doing right i have to provide the diagonal sums to it right okay so our first diagonal here is 1 3 5 1 3 5 second diagonal here is 2 6 4 7 2 6 4 7 and then 9 10 11 12 9 10 11 12 right i will have to sum this up so it will become 1 plus 3 that is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 7 is 19 and similarly it will become 20 30 42 right okay so my answer would be 9 and 1 sum that is 9 then 19 then 42 and this will be my correct answer for this question right i will have to return this see to dip, to get the clear image of what is a diagonal you will have to look at this photo very closely to get a clear image of what is a diagonal considered in a case of binary tree you will have to look at the photo very keenly right okay so i see that for a root for a root all the left child are in the same diagonal so root it's right so for the right child so root then right then its right are in the same channel right same diagonal now as as soon as i go to the roots left as soon as i go to the roots left you i see another diagonal is formed i see another diagonal is formed when another diagonal is formed its left its right is also in the same diagonal now roots left right is also in the same diagonal roots left right is also in the same diagonal and its left its right is also in the same diagonal right and as soon as i go from here to its left that is 9 another diagonal is formed so 9 10 11 12 so i am able to see i am able to see that whenever i am going left the diagonal changes whenever i am going left the diagonal changes and whenever i'm seeing in the right direction the diagonal remains same so my what are my deductions my deductions are whenever i am going left diagonal changes and for right diagonal remains same right okay when i got to this observation when i was solving this question i tried to visualize it in a form of a matrix right in a form of a matrix so i thought can i make it very simpler to look for me i said yes just rotate it something like this something in the anti-clockwise direction and it will look like one now this edge, this right edge will become horizontal. So 3, 5, right? And when I, this becomes horizontal, this will become vertical, this edge, right? So 2. For left, another level is formed. 2, 2's right is all again horizontal, that is 6, right? 3's 4 is also vertical, 4. And 5 has nothing on left or right. After this, this element has been covered, 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 this also has covered, this also has covered. Now 4, 7 is also horizontal. So 7. Then I go to 2. 2 is 9. Okay. So again vertical. Then 9 connected to 10. 6 connected to 11. Vertical. And then 4 connected to 12. Also vertical. Right. So you see. The correct depiction right this is a correct matrix 1 3 5 2 6 4 7 9 10 11 12 and then just we provided the sums right okay so if i am able to visualize my this matrix 
as much this mat or this binary tree as much this binary tree she has just rotated it i have nothing changed left or left right or right the configuration is exactly same i just tried to uh, rotate it for the better visualization for better visualization okay now what can i do i see this is my root right this is my root suppose i assign it a level 0 0 in the sense this is a row 0 type of thing right row 0 row 1 row 2 call 0 call 1 call 2 call 3 right now i'm only bothered about the row, row numbers right so i assign it a row number of 0 when i'm going it's right when going right row number remains same okay so when i'm going right row number remains same when i'm going right row number remains same right okay when i'm going left when i am going left row number increases row number increases so i'm going left to one two is right again row number remains same so one three is le uh, three is left is four so one four is right is seven so one now two to time again row number increases two two remains two one to two one to two right okay so you see you have assigned each node a level right and this level is nothing but their diagonal like this called these three elements correspond to diagonal one diagonal two diagonal three right so my work is very eased out work is very eased out what can i do i will just contain the sub you will see that how can you assign the value a node uh, a node uh, value to the node you are you taking extra space to keep the values no i'm not giving it extra space i'm not uh, ordering the structure of struct node that has already been made i'm just doing something manipulation type of thing so what i'm doing is in the in the driver function what i will do i will create a map of type int to int and what is this map representing level to sum right then i will call a solve function for root that will be starting from the root and then I will be giving the map to the solve function and I will give the current level. So roots level is zero, right? Okay. So this is my solve function. What will this solve function do? This will take up these parameters root, mp, and pn zero, right? Now, our base condition is that if root is equals to equals to null, return, right? Simply, you cannot do anything, right? Otherwise, otherwise, mp of this level suppose this is taken as level here so mp of level plus equals to roots data because i'm that level i am at zero level so i will increase my mp level by roots data right okay after that go for root root right solve root right simple traversal simple traversal and then solve root left so solve root right why root right when i'm going root right my level remains same or different so i'm saying when going right row number remains same so row number remains same that is level will remain same level and mp as usual and when i'm going left row number increases so level plus one now with mp right okay so i solved it yes i've got the driver function my map contains each sum with corresponding level with corresponding level i will just create a vector in answer and then traverse the map and push the sums push the sums into answer now you may ask me why are you using a map instead of an unordered map why are you using a map instead of an unordered map so to answer your query, I will say that I am just traversing the map and pushing the sums into the answer. And the question requires me 
to provide the answer in this order only that is 9 1942 9 1942 so my map will give me the answer in this order only that is for level 0 1 and 2 right for the level 0 for the level 1 then for the level 2 but in, in the case of an order map it might be the case that i am getting an order of 0 2 1 so i will have to use the extra space to sort them up right so I'm, to avoid that i am using a map right hope i'm clear hope i'm clear and now i will be telling you the code for this right if you have any doubts any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section i will surely reply to you right okay so we will just write the pseudo code here right first we created our map name it as mp right then call was function solve for root right now send mp into it and my current level is level 0 right okay so first implement a solve function nothing returning the void so solve of node star root map of int to int and mp and my level right okay now if my root is does not exist that is it is equal to null in that case you don't you can do you can't do anything in that case right otherwise mp of level plus equals to roots data that is increment the sum in the level right okay then just the traversal calls so root left when i'm going left i'm increasing the level so mp with level plus one right and similarly solve for roots right mp with same level right return to mark the ending of the function now here you have got the mp with all the data you want now i will create my answer array and then i will traverse the mp so for auto it in mp ans dot push back it dot second and then just return your answer so hope this code will work and i have written correctly so as i say all, always that if you have subscribed it will work correctly okay thank you for subscribing and it should have worked correctly if you have subscribed for submit also okay running fine so thank you guys for watching my video hope you liked it hope you were able to grasp the concept grasp the visualization i was trying to offer you here this uh, this visualization sorry this visualization because this helped me a lot to understand what i'm doing right okay so thank you for watching and if you're new here don't know, do not forget to subscribe and if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button okay thank you we'll meet tomorrow with a new energy thank you